Oh, the Huey. Oh, my God. What a remarkable machine. When I first flew in one, it was love at first sight. I was in the back. I was in officer candidate school, and they put us in this helicopter, and I'm like, oh, my God, this is special. So I'm just watching the pilots. I'm watching them interact. And before I knew it, the flight was over. I said, you know, I got to do this. And I remember strapping myself in there. And we, of course, we had the instructor the first few flights. And after that first flight, I thought, my God, I think I'm strapping myself to a Corvette that can fly. It was powerful, responsive, smooth. It didn't, it just was an unbelievable machine and I could not wait to fly it in combat. It was the finest helicopter I ever flew and I've flown the Chinook, I flew the Huey, flew a little bit of the OH-58 and flew the H-3 in the Air Force. That's a course helicopter, commonly known as the Jolly Green Giant. Uh, by far the one I loved the most was the Huey. Very versatile, would just take a lot of hits. It was a real helicopter pilot's helicopter. It didn't have all the stability augmentation system. It had a simple hydraulic system, very simple navigation, and just a real flyer's helicopter. Fixed wing was great, but you know, the Huey, you're uh, operating close to the ground uh, and multi-ship formations, I like, I like formation flying. It's, uh, that was always a, a challenge, but also very rewarding. You know, Huey wasn't very fast, you know, 120 miles an hour or something like that. But it's just a challenge of, of flying. You have your both hands and your feet, and they all have to work together. And so it's a real coordination exercise. To me, just getting a Huey to a hover would put a smile on my face. It was just a thing of beauty to get the thing up smoothly and ready to go. I really enjoyed the Huey. It was beautiful. I love to fly, I still love to fly. My first flight in the Huey helicopter, I was with an artillery unit. That's where I left Oklahoma, Fort Seal, and I went to get on my joint as an FO. And they would take us out and drop, and we'd observe. When they pick us up in the morning, he would fly so high, you'd go to sleep, and hang out in the wind, the wind blowing through your hair. That was good. I love that part about it. To this day, I want me a helicopter. Almost everybody that was in Vietnam at one time or another rode in a Huey helicopter. If you wanted to, if you had to go somewhere, uh, we were down in the Mekong Delta, down in the southern part of the state at, at a place called Ben Long, but if you had to go anywhere else if, for some reason you had to go up north to Saigon or someplace like that. The only way to get there was by helicopter, by UH-1. It was a good transport helicopter. It was a good platform for me. You could do anything with the UE that, you, that really you, you had a mind to do. And it would do it. It would take you there, it would bring you back. Very reliable aircraft. What I can say about the Huey is it was one hell of a fine aircraft. Real, never really had any serious problems unless the crews, it, with the, their lack of experience, had over torqued it or something. Generally speaking, for both of my tours, I was very, very happy with the Hueys. I have no complaints. It's a good ship. You cannot point to one place on that Huey that I haven't taken a hit, and it kept flying. You name it, every portion of that has had one go whistle through it or hit a, a component that was, and when it hits a, a main component, it really smacks it. And sometimes if it's a place like a, a gearbox, say, the vibration is, is so terrific that you don't have any controls, you lose altitude and you just hope it smooths out because you cannot see anything because the vibration is so terrific, but it smooths out. It always flew. There was very little maintenance on the Huey to keep it flying. It had a good airframe to it, and it had a good engine to it, and um, it, it, it just, it would fly forever and ever and ever, you know? I mean, such a tremendous aircraft. It could do everything. It was so versatile. 
I flew guns, it uh, flew resupply missions, uh, it flew dust off. Uh, it, it just did everything that you would want a helicopter to do. It was a very fine helicopter, perfect for operations in Vietnam. I always said when I got back, I'd go to Fort Worth, Texas, to Bell Helicopter, and shake hands with every employee there. <laughs> and say, way to go, guys. You put a good machine out there for us to fly.